I was born and raised in El Paso, and in my neighborhood, everybody was Latino. Then I went to the clinic where all the people giving care were non-Latino. And again, what was stressed was, you have to tell us that in English. And instead of saying, you and I are very much alike, we just have a different language, the stress was put on the differences that we had. But differences were not promoted as, we're all of the same value. Differences were stratified. When I was told who I was, I was labeled Mexican. Well, I was born in Mexico, and the word wasn't said in a friendly way, so I had great concerns about what it meant to be Mexican. When I started school, it became really obvious that something was wrong with Spanish. My parents had come here as children and gone through the uh, U.S. school system, so they spoke English. So we spoke English and Spanish at home. But at school, suddenly, it was not okay to speak Spanish. It was a bad thing. Since Latinos in general seem to integrate more with who they are in language, it was very offensive. It was very downputting. I was very disturbed by it, most especially when they changed your name. Juan was now John, Maria was now Mary, Catalina Esperanza Garcia, me. I was Kathleen Hope and I ended up with Hope. I think that's when I felt otherness and differences more and more. Uh, my parents also used to talk about it. My father would be very proud of my good grades and everything, and I would talk about I was going to become a physician. He always pointed out to me that I had to be better than every candidate. I couldn't just be equal to other candidates because Latinas, Latinos, must excel even above and beyond if they are to be accepted in schools, in jobs, careers. Everything involved tremendous effort. While I didn't feel that was fair, I was willing to do it if that's what it took. But it was kind of not so much a bitter pill to swallow, and maybe there was some resentment. But why did I have to acculturate t to everything else? Why couldn't other people learn about us? So I try to focus on the positive aspects of differences. I don't believe that's something that I learned at school. I think it's something that I learned living, that differences are quite positive. Uh, when I came to medical school here, I dressed like we dress in West Texas. And those of us who came from West Texas were made fun of. Um, the fact that we didn't dress quite as formally, that we loved a lot of colors, that was not seen as a positive. One of the lessons I have learned from this is that I must take this as a self-charge. I need to go through life inviting people to examine differences, to enjoy the differences. Sometimes people don't mean to leave out other people, but if they have a narrow focus of the world, they may not be so aware that there's a lot of different people here that are American. I remember the first time I went to D.C. I was so excited because I was, I think, uh, maybe in my 20s, and for the first time in my life, I felt American. And I remember thinking to myself, why do those people keep calling me Mexican? I'm an American. I feel it. I know it. I was born here. And I think if I can do anything for anyone, I can explain that to them. Mm -hmm.